As a veteran, I cannot tell you how moving it is to be a part of a Veterans Day celebration that is not just about the past, but about the future. My name is Ken Harbaugh. I'm a former Navy pilot and executive director of the Mission Continues. If the Mission Continues, we challenge our returning wounded to continue their lives of service here at home, even if their time in uniform has been cut short. We tell them thank you for the heroic sacrifices you have already made, but you're not done yet. Because there are two kinds of heroism. There's the kind we hear about most often, the kind that compels a soldier to carry a fallen comrade to safety. That kind of heroism can keep a nation safe, but it cannot make us great. America's greatness depends on the quiet, persistent heroism of those who return from war, especially those who return with injuries, seen and unseen, and choose to continue carrying their brothers and sisters. In a moment, you'll meet one of our mission continuous fellows who returned from war scarred, but chose to accept the challenge of serving others. Men like Mike Pereira are American treasures. But for everyone like him, there are 10 others that have not yet found their opportunity to serve again. We can change that, because we, those of us here in this room, know that celebrating veterans isn't just about honoring what they have done already, but recognizing everything they have left here. Mike? Thank you, Ken. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Mike Burks, as I said, and I served in the U.S. Army. I deployed to Iraq and Afghanistan. It's an honor to be here today. Thank you for having me. As a soldier, I faced many challenges. I faced the challenge of leaving home for the first time, of training, and the challenges associated with the deployment. But the hardest challenge was coming back home. Within three months of returning home from the desert, I had lost my job, my fiance, and a close friend and fellow veteran had taken his own life. At my lowest, I remember some very kind words from an officer that I served with in Iraq. The officer was Eric Grydens. He's now the CEO and co-founder of The Mission Continues. I reconnected with Eric and he introduced me to the concepts of the Mission Continues. He challenged me to become a Mission Continues fellow. Through the fellowship, I was able to again lead, to organize, and to find others like myself in my community. Today, I serve as the National Director for the Fellowship Program at the Mission Continues. Four days ago, during our annual Veterans Day celebration in St. Louis, I stood before a dozen fellow veterans from all over the United States who had completed their fellowships and who are now serving as citizen leaders in their communities. I am here to represent those veterans. I am here to represent the soldiers coming home. Many of us cannot continue our service in the military, but we have a strong desire and a passion to serve here at home in our local communities. Together, through your efforts and ours, we can build a stronger nation. I would like to thank Mission Serve for supporting organizations such as Mission Continues. The challenge is wounded and disabled veterans to continue their service here at home in the local communities. Let us look at veterans not just as yesterday's heroes, but as tomorrow's leaders. Thank you.